Hello! Welcome to our fridge in Ireland, which opens the other way. <laughs> yeah, it does, not it? <laughs> Before we went to Ireland, we made this. There is nothing Ben loves more than fiddling with things that shouldn't be fiddled with. And this week, he's going after your mind. Which is why we can do something that looks sweet, but is in fact savoury. And it starts by peeling some spuds, sweet ones. Ben is actually a close-up magician. And not a lot of people know that. Was. I used to do it in uni. Pay my way through uni with a bit of close-up card magic. Once you've peeled and chopped the potato, we're going to cook it, because it's going to be the base to our sponge. Yeah. We don't want to add any extra water to it, so instead of boiling, cover it with cling film and put it into a microwave for six or seven minutes until it's soft all the way through. I can put it in a microwave without you watching me, you know. Ben said six or seven minutes, so I put it in for six and a half, uh, because I agree with actually giving proper instructions rather than wishy-washy. <laughs> Whilst the sweet potatoes cook in the microwave, separate yourself out four eggs. We need the yolks in just a minute, but the egg whites, whisk those to soft peaks, we'll need those later on. Plus, grab yourself some cheese and grate that. We've gone for Red Leicester, but you can use whatever you like. Just wanted to say, Ben, that I'm a bit of an expert at making a Swiss roll, and I think you're doing it wrong. Why is that? How would you do it? Push him down the hill. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Check your sweet potato is cooked by stabbing it with a fork and then add all of it into a food processor with your grated cheese, egg yolks, salt, pepper and a little pinch of ground clove. So seriously, what, I mean, what is, what is your problem? Why can't you just leave stuff alone? People love Swiss rolls all around the world, mainly in Switzerland. Why would you try and make it savoury? Because somebody else is too. Comment see below. Comment see below. Oh, comment see below. <laughs> <laughs> Puree it into here, yep. and then fold in the egg white in two batches to keep it super light and fluffy. Then without overworking it, place it into a baking tray lined with grease with paper and into an oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes to bake. At this stage, if we were doing a sweet Swiss roll, we'd probably scatter this with caster sugar, but seeing as it's savoury, sesame seeds will be beautiful. Look at this. Sweet potato sponge. That actually looks like a sponge. Take it out, flip it over onto our sesame seeds, peel back the paper, and then while it's still really hot, roll it up with the paper inside of it. Leave that to cool for at least an hour, wrapped up in a tea towel while we make the filling. Red onion, some chives, some white stuff, and some Brazil nuts. The white stuff being cream cheese and yogurt, basically punctuating what would be a cream filling with savory flavors. Savory. <laughs> Look at this, our sponge has cooled. And if we unwrap it, it's it hasn't be. broken too much. So, next up, jam. That should go in any Swiss roll, except ours is marmalade of the red onion variety. And this bit you want to be quite careful because you want a nice, even layer all the way across. And then for the cream cheese, I've put the piping back to make it easy. You give it a very gentle spread and then super carefully roll it back up, this time keeping the paper out. Transfer it to a plate. And there we go, savoury Swiss roll. How does that taste? I'm so confused. I mean, it looks like a Swiss roll, but it tastes like lunch. It's like a cheese sandwich on steroids. This could be Tyrone's new favourite. We cook loads of normal stuff, but I really like it when we cook weird stuff like this. So, tell us what more weird stuff we should be cooking. That turned out pretty well. Yeah. I, I like that. I'm mean, happy to be honest, I was surprised. It was a recipe idea that came from you guys, yep. savoury Swiss roll. And I thought maybe it was a little bit too soft for sorted. Like, you're saying they didn't have enough attitude, is that Not what enough attitude. However, put some epic music underneath. Winner. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, now, we are in Ireland, but that doesn't mean that we haven't been ramming out videos all week. And some of them from the other side of the world. Yeah, well, we weren't over the other side of the world, but we were representing the other side of the world, <laughs> that other side of the world being Brazil. Sorted East Brazil, and we did the final episode in Sorted East Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, so that series has come to an end. It doesn't mean that you guys can't keep putting comments on the videos and telling us what we did right and what we did wrong. But this week's was... <laughs> Javier the Biscoeta. Amazing. Chocolate, Ooh. caramel, peanut, biscuit. The biscuit Delicious. Though. Then it was made poisonal yes. at my flat where I live with my mate Adam. He wasn't in it, but that's where I live. I'm just giving you context to where I live and my flat. And it was a dish perfect for yeah. you as a footballer. We did a slow-relief carby um, chicken dish 
which is perfect for eating before a prolonged uh, period of sport, which will keep you going, give you loads of energy, and not only that, but it was blooming delicious. Yeah, so if, like me, you don't play football, then you can still enjoy it. What's next? Throwback Thursday. Do you remember Scotch eggs? I do remember Scotch Egg, eggs. Egg, surrounded by sausage meat and breadcrumb and fried, yes. perfect for picnics and packed lunches. We did a version, but with salmon. Yeah, we did, and uh, it was ages ago. It was a couple of years ago. Two years it? ago, yeah. And who was in that? Um, I was in that. And with whom? With Barry. Just in case that's not right. And with whom? With Jamie. Cooking from all over the place, cooking recipes in Ireland, cooking recipes from Brazil, from your flat. From Brazil. Next, mm -hmm. Worcestershire, where we did another recipe for Lee and Perrins. It was a Bloody Mary. It was Bloody Mary. With baked eggs. Bloody Mary. Great brunch. It was very nice. And of course, comment of the week. Here we go. Hang on, I've got a good one here. Okay, this is from William Traxus 10. Why is it when I'm on a skateboarding app and I try to find a video on how to do an ollie, I end up with this bull crap? And guess what? No ollie videos on skateboarding app that apparently teaches potato crisps how freaking wonderful. I think he was a bit confused. Yeah, so I think this guy stumbled across our video with Barry's cousin, Ollie, where we made potato chips. Um, Instead of an ollie I mean, to be trip. fair to this guy, um, the thumbnail and the title are all skateboard related, so clicking on that video is, I mean, we're doing him an injustice because it's completely misleading. The fact that he's got a baby on the front and it says potato chips, Ollie. So we just want to take this time to send our heartfelt apologies to you and we will try better. Can I just in say it future. made us chuckle this week and that's exactly why I got comment a week? Brilliant. We've loved Ireland, it's been amazing, the people are incredible, the food is unbelievable. We've learned loads about chocolate, but just about loads of stuff in general. We hope to bring you those videos in a couple of weeks time. They're going to be proper buffing. But in the so meantime... keep an eye out. But yeah, in the meantime... This week was the end of Sorted Eats Brazil. Yeah. So... What do you want us to eat next? Exactly done a bit that. of Ireland, done a bit of uh, Brazil, done a bit of USA. Where next? Comment below. Comment below. You tell Let us. us no. And we will leave you in this Irish fridge. We are sad week. to leave Ireland and we are sad to leave you, but have a lovely week. Enjoy yourselves um, and uh, live long and prosper. Schlong. In this bloopers, we're going to have to give back context. Schlong means goodbye in Irish. It's not Ben just shouting out body parts. It doesn't really work from the top. That's telekinesis, Ben. How about the power? What we need to end up with is about... What's next, Ben? Next, we need to separate out four eggs. We need the yolks now, and we need the whites to be whisked for later. Do we need all four eggs, or is one enough? <laughs> it's French. <laughs> the egg. Oof. Oh. Cook in the oven, separate yourself out four eggs. We need the egg yolks. They are cooking in the microwave, not the oven, Ben. Thank you, good spot. Uh, um, just... oh, 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 oh